the Texas Gal Treasures and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, um, I am live and we've had some issues with the live stream. Never mind. There it is. I was going to ask, is it working today? And I forgot to mute it. So I'll take that as a yes. So <laughs> how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we've been running around and just running errands and having fun for summertime stuff. But I wanted to come to you guys today because I have a jewelry jar and this one is a little bit different. Okay, we've talked in Texas Gallant's Jewelry Lovers and on the channel about ordering mystery lots or lots from eBay. Well, one of our members um, um, reached out to me and said, hey, you know, I sell jewelry jars in my shop. So she asked, can I send you one of my jars and you guys can go check out her shop. Her shop is down below. It's Granny Josie on eBay. And the cool thing about that is, you know, like with mystery lots, some, you don't really get to see what's in there. Um, but with her jewelry jar, so it's boxed up like this, but so you can kind of see the mystery of it and get a little teaser of it. Um, so you see what's in there. And she says that none of this stuff is broken. So it's all sellable type thing. So it'll give you the description. So it's just something else to keep an eye out for that you know, some people say they can't find jars in their area. So take a look on eBay. I do mystery lots on my in my Etsy shop, um, but I don't do jars like this. So it's kind of a good idea, you know? So, and this is plastic. When I, when I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, glass. No, it's a plastic jar. Good idea, right? Okay, so I'm gonna dig into it. I did, here, let me show you first. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Just other options, right? Because some, you know, we hear from people in the group that that their um, charity shops don't do the jewelry jars. So this is just another good option to, to have fun opening a jar, right? Uh, and and I am in a new area where the Goodwills here do not do jars. And they don't even have jewelry counters. So I was so spoiled in Houston. The Savers do. And there's another charity shop I went to today that has a jewelry counter, but they didn't have gonna do jars there's something fun about the jars and y'all know I still have some I just haven't opened yet okay okay so let's dig in I'm so excited okay and thank you so much for sending she also sent I don't know if I showed you I didn't I, I didn't show you but she sent where's the box she sent my guys some pillowcases that she made isn't that sweet so thank you so much for that so those are really cute okay I don't know if she sells those too, but they're really cute. They were, I mean, if you don't have an Etsy store, you could totally sell those in an Etsy store. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Now, what I don't have, of course, is my magnet. I have a solution on the way though, so I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll tell you later. Okay, so let's do this. I'm excited. Okay, first up, we have this really cute brooch. There are people that really enjoy the circle brooches like this. So I need to do a little digging some more on these because I always pick them up. I've sold a couple, but there must be a draw because some people really like them. I wonder if it's the thing where people can wear their glasses. Maybe that's what, why they like to buy them. But um, there's that one. Let's see. Oh, you need to see it. I, you know, when I was looking back, I was like, I haven't done a jar in a while. So yeah. Anyway, so I was really, this was fortuitous. Oh, cute. Okay, so next we've got another brooch. It's like a little bit of a, almost like an ivy with some roses. I know it's not ivy, but it's, you know, a little strand of roses all intertwined. And, oh my gosh. Okay, boys, I need help. Wait, no, my phone is here somewhere. I need my phone because, where's my phone over there? Hey guys, is my phone over there? Can you see? Yes, okay. I need my, um magnifier in my phone because oh thank you <laughs> you read my mind may I borrow your starfish please uh, yeah. thank you <laughs> hey, you, said, you said may I borrow my starfish it's yours isn't it yeah but you said it was yours can yeah. I borrow my starfish <laughs> no kidding okay it's yours okay so I don't see a maker's mark on that oh is it all pixelated oh dear let me know we were having issues with the stream yesterday. It was kind of nuts. Okay, let me look. Um, I call the thrift. Okay, I call the stores thrift stores. What's the difference from a charity shop? Like, I tend to call the bigger ones thrift stores, like Salvation Army and Goodwill and stuff like that. I mean, I guess they're. Ch I mean, and then like 
the smaller ones like church run or, or smaller organization run ones I tend to call charity shops. I don't know. It's just semantics, I guess. Okay, next. Let's see if I'm, if I'm missing anything in the chat. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, and I think in the in the UK, they tend to call them charity shops more as well. So, hi, hi. Okay, everything's clear. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. All right, so next. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is really pretty. Um, how much? So, this one was one that she sent me. Uh, and I looked in her shop, and she's got different price points on different ones depending on how much is in the jar. So that's cool. So look at this little pendant. So it's got these two sweet little birds on, are they hibiscus? Let me pull out the old magnifying glass and see. They look like they might be, no, maybe not hibiscus. Anyway, they're on really pretty little flowers on this chain. Super cute. Oh, thanks guys. Oh, oops. Oops. Okay. Next we've got a stretchy bracelet. Cool. And then, oh, I never said like if I'm going to sell it or how much I would think I would go for. I'm just going to guess, right? If I sell this, if my sister doesn't end up taking it, <laughs> um, probably, I don't know. I'm guessing like 17 plus in that range. And then these, like probably 11, 12 bucks, depending on if I find a maker mark, maker's mark. And same thing here, probably 12-ish dollars, somewhere in that range. Okay. Then, hang on, we got some fuzzies. There we go. Next up, we've got this little lapel pin with the crystally butterfly, which is super cute. All right, there are people that love the butterflies. So I could see that going pretty well. Okay, so this one, let's see, I'm guessing, I don't know, probably in that $12 range as well, maybe more, depending on what I find out there. So, all right, let's see what we got next. Well, this is pretty. So here is a really pretty brooch with these really shiny black stones and pink, I don't know, rhinestones probably, and that's the back of it. So vintage, oh, that's really pretty. I think it's super unusual, right? Because I don't see a whole lot like this with a black, like a black flower, right? So cool. So it's hard to guess on the prices sometimes because I, I tend to, you know, like guess lower unless it's really cool because it could go up. This would be like the lowest I would probably, the lowest I would price this at would, would be about 12 or $13. I might go higher because it's so unusual, I think. I think. And the thing too about it is that with, with some jewelry, um, you have to wait for the, I keep saying um too, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I notice, if you're noticing it, I'm noticing it too, that uh, uh, <laughs> you might have to wait for the right buyer. So if you are like, ah, I posted this and it's not sold, it's been a couple weeks or a month or two, um, sometimes you have to wait for the right buyer. So with, with my jewelry, most of it's long tail type things. Um, the name of her shop is Granny Josie. I linked it down below. So if you're interested in checking her out, it's down below. So here we've got a donkey, which is really cute. And this could really go for a number of different people, you know, people that collect donkeys, but also like political, you know, political pin. So, and I'm guessing, I don't know, he's cute. He's got a little bit of wear on him, but overall he's pretty good. He's very sparkly. Um, so, guesstimating, I don't know, $15 or so, depending on if the wear is just something I can rub off. You do, <laughs> I didn't used to, Phyllis, that's the thing. I didn't use to, um, 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 in my videos or in real life. But lately I've been noticing it. I don't know why. Yeah. Lady Al says they call them op shops in New Zealand. Opportunity. Nice. Are you in New Zealand? I had a, actually she was my bridesmaid. My, one of my best friends from New Zealand. Maybe you know her. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so she was one of my good girlfriends, roommates before I got married and all that. Ooh, this is a really pretty ring. Okay. That would help to see this. This is really pretty. Okay. Where is, oh, I don't know how to bag. Okay. So it's got these stars. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. So it's silver and gold tone, and the top part looks like a rope woven around, and then the stars, but then the stars, I don't know if you can tell, maybe through the bottom, they're, they're cut out, they're kind of cut out. 
so you can see the light through them. I'm gonna see if I see any marks on this. Excuse me. Um, if you think you know her, I'll tell you. New Zealand's not that, no, it's big. So this, it does have something inside. It looks like it's laser cut something. Hey, hey everybody. Um, let's see. So it says 31, or 316L stainless steel. Cool. This is really cool. It could almost be worn like as a wedding ring, like a, is it a men's or a woman's? It's, it could be a man's or, a, or well, it could be a woman's too, because it kind of fits me too. Ew, it's cute, it's, it's cute, I like it. Let's see, um, what's, okay, we did that one. Southern, South London reseller, jewelry bags I bought from charity shops have been disappointing, so I buy individual, yeah. There's always the fun, I don't know, the thrill of the hunt in them, I guess. Maybe it's the gambler in me, right? I don't know. Yeah, more jewelry. So, and I was, you know, okay, hang on, I'll tell you in a second. So here we've got some little black seed pearls. And this necklace, I'm gonna do it. They're tiny, it's kinda hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> uh, one of the ways that you can tell that, you know, if it's a pearl, it's not foolproof, but is to feel it on your teeth and it's got this like sandy gritty texture to it. And to me, it's like fingernails on the chalkboard. So yeah, there's those. I love, I just love the black pearls too, because they've got that really purpley sheen to them. Knacker, lacquer, knacker, knacker, there. <laughs> um, um, I should put like a nickel in the jar every time, right? Uh, la la la. <laughs> That'll be my new. <laughs> okay, so next. Oh, what I was gonna say is like, yeah, I haven't done a jewelry jar in a while. I've done a couple jewelry hauls, but not a jar in a little bit. So I guess I needed to. Here we have this plastic. I can't tell what color that is. It's kind of a maroony pink color. And this kind of reminds me of the 80s, right? There was a lot of this style stuff in the 80s going on. It kind of matches my dress, though, with the, the flowers. Ooh, it's kind of got that vintage look. Cool. Did I say savers have, yeah, the savers here have jewelry jars. We bought, um, we bought a couple. I bought two, they're smaller. And then James bought one that was like a watch jewelry jar. And the lady at one of the savers in Austin, that makes, I guess, takes care of all the jewelry stuff. She actually knocked down the price on his jar because she said, I had to take a watch out of it because it was a fancy watch or whatever. So I'll knock the price down. What was it to 10 bucks or something, James? Yeah, it was like 20 bucks. And she was like, I'll knock it down to 10 bucks for you. It was 30 bucks. It was 30 and she knocked it down to 10? She knocked it down to 20 and her brother Was it 20? I thought it was 10. Oh, okay, twenty dollars. Okay, you probably know better than me. Is your money? <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't want a stainless steel wedding band. I wonder why. I wonder why. Randy's is what is it? It's like that really hard stuff. It's not titanium. It's something else. Cobalt. 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 I think that's what it is. Okay, so. There are these clip-ons, which look like they would have a maker's mark because they're really pretty, but they don't. All right, so I, I, there's some sort of flower with this black or gray, maybe gray, little stone in the middle. Those are cute. Black pearls can be natural or dyed. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. I, I am an enthusiast, and I know, you know, enough to get by for my reselling purposes or if i think it's something really expensive i know enough to get it checked out by a professional <laughs> if i'm not 100 percent sure Ooh. Ooh, this is cool oh okay cool phyllis she, she likes the clip on so here we have got a horse bracelet very equestrian bracelet so it's got all of these gold tone horses and horseshoes on here. And then it's got a safety chain as well. And I just bought today, because I buy stuff still. <laughs> when we were out at this charity shop today, I bought a, an, a watch that was an equestrian themed watch. So we'll see how that goes. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So I don't know. I mean, there are there are horse lovers, and they, they okay, you know, it's a, well, maybe you don't know. It is a very expensive hobby to you know get into horses and equestrian stuff. Some might not even call it a hobby. They might call it a lifestyle or a religion. My um my little one of my I guess it's my cousin, but my niece cousin younger. You know, she was really into riding for a while. So, whew, cha ching so expensive. Her mom made her save her money to buy her tack and all that. So, okay. Next, we have got this really pretty, uh, long, like, Y tassel at the bottom necklace. And this kind of reminds me, oh, gosh. I don't think it's as old as I feel like it is, but maybe it maybe it's older. I don't know. What do you think as far as age on that? I want to say like 30s or 40s, but maybe not. They they are knotted. This is a mystery to me. See, the beads are knotted in there, you know. So somebody really took the time to make that nice. And just the length of it, it kind of reminds me of like in the 20s, they would have their long dresses with their drop waist and their long lavaliers. Is that what they're called? With the long necklaces. Like, yeah. So really pretty, but I feel like it's not that old. I don't feel like 20s. I don't know. So I'll have to do a little digging on this. This is really, really pretty. Like that. And then that color is unusual. It's kind of an ambery yellow. That's nice. Okay, so here's what we got still. We're doing great. Here we go. Keep it on. Okay, this one, pardon me, my throat's a bit dry. Yeah, Penny, it can be hard as far as determining age. Penny's asking how, you know, if you wish you knew how to determine the age of jewelry. Some, some is easier than others, and some takes practice, and some it's just like, there's, there's reproduction stuff, so it's hard to tell. Maybe we should tap that in the group. <laughs> try and just try with a decade. But even within decades, sometimes it there's so much variation depending on what it is. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should. Why not? Okay, so next up we've got this one that looks like, you know, it's trying to be amber, trying to look like amber. Pardon me one second. Hey guys, voice, voice. Can y'all lower your voices a bit, please? Thank you. All right, so it looks like it's trying to be an amber, but I'm pretty sure it's not. This is very unusual because along the edges here, it's kind of this rubbery feel, and then it's got this silver tone metal, and then on this leather strap, there is a maker's mark, or a hang tag, rather. So let's see. Uh, okay, let's bust out the, the old starfish. Oh my gosh, we've seen this in the group. Okay, if you are in jewelry lovers, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, we have a an album that has maker's marks where you know people can can contribute. Like, what is this? What is this mark? So we have a whole photo album in the group for just this purpose. And I know this one has come up. It's that one that's got the X with the little like C with a line under it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't remember. So this is why we have this album. Because I cannot remember so it's kind of like a faux amber so if i were going to list this i would say you know like faux amber almost like a tortoise shell amber look to them you know graduated i don't know how much i would charge for that either 15 20 bucks somewhere in that range probably the leather straps look pretty good so that's good all right no no bugs in it okay next oh nice she was very nice to partner up the the clip-ons, the earrings, the starfish. <laughs> well, I can't find my magnet or my loop. And so we got the starfish out, if I can get my eyeball in there. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I got that for my son, so I love it though. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. These are just some simple clip-on earrings with silver ball, uh, silver tone balls. And this one does have a maker's mark or a patent number, one or the other. I'm trying to read it. Sorry. I need I need new glasses, I think. Bifocals. Oh no. 
this has got like a patent pending number on it. So still cool. I mean, I think these will, will still sell. They're pretty classic, you know, classic earrings. Hang on, let me open this up. Because they're just a simple silver ball earring, which is nice, right? Oh, yes. I, I'm doing better. Thanks, Debbie. You know, both Debbies are here now. All right. It's like a doppelganger. Don't look at each other, okay? I hear that's bad luck. <laughs> if you see your double here, I don't know. Anyway, so and next up we have a four-leaf clover, and it's got look at the little stone in the center. It's kind of got that AB like a aurora borealis kind of sparkle to it. Can you see it? Can you see it like so? Um, how's my color? My colorful foot's doing better. If you saw, if you follow me on Instagram, I think I shared on Facebook too. My um. I, I twisted my ankle this past weekend and really, yeah, it's better. So that's good. <laughs> so here is this. Uh, and I, yeah, I mean, four leaf clover, like charms. Use, yeah, well, do you dare me to bust it out of the yard? So Dan says, you know me. I'll wear it around my neck like Flava Flav. <laughs> I'll be the, the Flava Flav of garage sales with my giant pendant. Okay, next up we have some more clip-ons, and these look like little knots, little rhinestone crystally studded knots. Oh, Diane says she's had bifocals for six months and still hates them. Okay, good. Maybe I don't need, I don't know. It's either that or get readers. Oh, how did this happen? Why? How did this happen? Okay, so there's those, but again, it's just simple, classic, love them, right? Then, oh, cute. Next up, we have a dragonfly, and this has those cat's eye blue stones, and then these sparkly, sparkly green, green wings. Super cute. Let's see. Naomi says, Naomi, none of the thrift stores I have much joy. Got to expand your horizons for sure. And this is, you know, this was a great idea that she had because I hadn't even thought really about looking. I mean, I've looked at mystery lots and then just other lots. But this way, it's you still kind of get the feel of the jar because you're looking at you can see the pictures of it going around and all that. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so there's this one. Nice. Okay, I'm guessing probably around you know ten between that ten and fifteen dollar range. Again, these are just guesstimates on what I might price something at. Uh, I haven't done any kind of research, so this is my low ball guesstimate. Because yeah, because now let's see. Cataract surgery was the best thing. Oh, I don't think I have that. My grandmother had cataract surgery. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, figurative figure stuff. Figure all stuff <laughs> tends to do tends to do well. So here we've got a violin or viola or fiddle or all of those fancy keywords that we can throw in there. So that'll be nice. You know, it might might a good keyword might be recital jewelry. Maybe somebody's buying a something for a, their daughter's recital. But they've got a big concert coming up, right? There's a little bit of recital jewelry. Here we go again with the neighbors upstairs. Y'all, we are closing on our house, supposed to be in a week and a half. So what's today? Tuesday? So next week, Friday, we're supposed to close on our house. But then my sister's supposed to have hip replacement surgery next week. So I'm like, ah. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to help my sister. That's what. So here we've got some little just pierced earrings. I can't tell what that figure is supposed to be. What shape that is? Hang on, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see. What is that? I mean, maybe just abstract. They're not hearts or harps. I don't know. Um. Okay. So. Uh, I had met, if you guys know who Carlos is, if you're in Texas Gal Drew Levers, you know who Carlos is. Um, we were, I'm supposed to talk with him later. And so I'm trying to get, get with him. He messaged me back. I think we're going to go ahead and, and pre record it, like record it not live because, because, <laughs> and I'll just edit it and put it up later. So, stringed instrument, yeah. Penny says, How do you know which ones go on Etsy? So, what I do is, Basically, if it's if I if it's vintage or I think it's vintage, it goes on Etsy and eBay. So like that would go on both. Um, now, if I'm not a hundred percent sure, now vintage is what night? What year are we in? Nineteen? 
1998, right? I think it's some, either 1997, 1998. So that's kind of scary to me. Is that right? Yeah. Because it's 20 years, right? 20 years old. So, yeah. <laughs> Most of it will go on there. Like, this is a fossil. Now, fossil's been around for a little bit, but I, I'm guessing that this fossil bracelet would be not vintage. So this would probably just go on eBay. But this is cute. Look at those. Okay, so they're not... I always get some of these flowers mixed up. Dogwood, maybe. And I always need help with the flowers on some of them. I always get dogwoods mixed up with something else. And then it's got this little button. Cute, cute, cute. You have a... Phyllis says, I have an elephant silver necklace. Should I sell it on Etsy or eBay? Is it... If it is vintage, put it on both. Yes, cross-posting is allowed. I, I cross-post. I do it. I've been doing it forever. All right, so that's really cute. I like that. I could see my sister wearing this. Yeah. Phyllis says, I hope it goes fast for you. Me too. You, can I just tell you something? Okay, the people, okay, if you ever bought a house or dealt with buying a house, I, I, a good, my friend AJ, who I talk about sometimes on the channel, she's a realtor. So I hear stories from her, but this is the first time we've actually bought a house from somebody else. Our first house was, you know, like a new build. Second house was grandmother's house. This is the first time we're buying a house from a person. Oh my gosh. So we got the appraisal done. Y'all, they took the light fixtures. They're not supposed to take the light fixtures. They took the light fixtures after they moved out. They were there when we looked at the house and when we signed the agreement. I took the light pictures. Anyway, <laughs> um, Julie says, I say clovers, dogwoods. Dogwoods have four petals. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, let's see. How much would you do for a fossil? I got a new one jar with little charms on it. Yeah, I would just do a, like check the, the Google check like a Google search and then see look at the shopping like and then also check eBay and eBay solds and just get a, I like to look at a few different places and then just gather up all the things I see and then just, throw, you know, I tend to go towards the higher end. Yeah. Yeah. Buying houses is crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, D. <laughs> um, all right. So here we go. Bye, Naomi. Hope I'm saying your name right. Hey, going on grumpy. Hello, hello. Okay. So next up we have got a, Queen Mary Long Beach charm. This is like one of those, and this one I'm almost positive is vintage because, you know, like my aunt and my mom would have these charm bracelets from all their travels and they would have little charms on this like when they went to visit different places. So that's cool. If it wasn't in the listing or paperwork is not being part of the sale, they owe you money. Yeah, right? That's what I told, and that's what I was telling my dad. I was like, look, and I, at this point, I because we'd already had the house inspected while the light fixtures were there, right? So the light fixtures were in there when we had the house inspected. So what if they just like yanked them out of the ceiling and like messed up the electrical work? I don't know. So I just said, you know what? I, I hope that they will just like reimburse us so I can hire an electrician because I don't want them to go and like half sit and like just throw up whatever and mess up the wiring and no. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> off topic a little bit, but come on, man. So here is this one. I guess we'll find out. I'm trying not to stress about it. We got enough to stress about. My husband's job, they got bought out. So he just got a job there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Motorcycle fan. Okay. So here we go. We have this bracelet, which looks like just, you know, a, a, a simple, a simple chain bracelet, a, you know, classic. But I think it is ma has magnets. You know, like for magnet therapy? Let's find something we can see if it's magnetic. So I'm betting that little charm will be magnetic. So let's find out. Is it? I can't tell. I'm going to have to lay it down. Or I'm just imagining things. No, it's not really attracting. So maybe it's not magnetic. I'll have to find out more later. So it could be a magnet therapy bracelet, or it could just be what's holding the gold tone links together in there. It's worth the, a look see. <laughs> yeah, souvenir charm. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, then still going. We got quite a bit. We still have a good, a goodly amounts to go. Oh, my favorite tangles. Hello, tangles. There are friends in our group who love it, and that's like their form of therapy, just like meditation, just sitting and detangling and detangling. And I can do it for a bit, but oh, I can't do it for very long. <laughs> okay, then. Hey, Lydia. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So next up, I'm trying to get this. This one's really pretty with these colors. I don't know if this is still hot right now, but a lot of people, I've, been, I've seen a lot of people wearing the browns and the metallics and the turquoise. I think that's always going to be a thing. Some people are just going to love that, right? So, and then it's got this lock and key on it. Oh, it's, does that say Coro? Oh, it says arrow. I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't really look like core. So like this one, who was asking about the vintage a second ago? It was, was it Phyllis? I think maybe. Ah, sorry. So this one is definitely probably not going to be vintage. How long has arrow been around? It's arrow postal, right? How long have they been around? I, and my guess is maybe long enough to be vintage, but chances are this is not vintage. So this would go on eBay. So my thing too is if it's not $7.99 or more, then I won't put it up by itself. It'll go into a lot. So that we'll just have to kind of see what this, but it's got the lock and key thing. I think that would be cool. And if not, you know, it might end up being something that gets picked apart for, for crafts. It was you, Phil. It's okay, good. I wish I could keep everything there all the time, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so you love them anyway. I love to untangle jewelry. I will do it. I mean, I've got a necklace that that's why I bought it because I knew what it was and it was tangled up into a teensy ball and I got it for super cheap because of that. So hang on. Sure. So we've got some more little clip ones. There's a lot in here. A lot of good stuff. And these are little faux pearl clip ons. They're screw back clip ons too. So they clip and then they can screw on and make tighter. But I don't think they have a maker's mark. Nope. So these ones, you know, if they don't uh, end up in a lot, I'll have to see how much I think they would go for. Well, there's something written on there. Hang on. Hang on. What does that say? Oh, patent pending. Okay. <laughs> just got to make sure. Okay. Ten bucks. So you do ten dollars or more? Yeah. Because of, of, you know, with fees and all of that good stuff, you want to make sure it's worth your time. So, Antoinette says, I love detangling. I think I could do it as a full-time job. Would you list a whole big lot of these costume necklaces? Possibly if, if I didn't think I could sell them as they were. Yeah. And I'm planning on doing more lots and I've been buying like props like jewelry boxes and things to do lots on eBay once I get settled in, 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 the, in the house and everything. So here is another necklace. Again, really pretty heart with a black um, cabochon, you know, little, I think it's a stone or maybe an enamel in there. Like this one I'm guessing is probably not vintage just by the way it's made and the way it looks. It looks like it's, uh, you know, trying to look vintage, but it's not really vintage. So I'm, my hunch is that it's not. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Perla. <laughs> if only I could get my son to give it back to me. No, no, <laughs> I gave it to him. I give, oh really? I will buy it from you. I don't know how much you want. If I buy this from you, you can't come back and say you changed your mind. I don't know. Let's ask. Let's ask everybody. How much do you think the starfish is worth? How much do you think I should pay my son to give it back to me? <laughs> Never mind how much I bought it for. I know how much I bought it for at the garage sale. <laughs> okay. Then we've got this one. It's you know got these grad. You know what do you call it? Oh my gosh, graduated? No, it's got different levels, different lengths of chains with these purpley beads on it. You guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that to him. No, they're all like, there's a consensus pretty much in there. <laughs> I 
am not. <laughs> Keep chatting so it goes up in the chat. No! <laughs> They're all saying the same amount, like how much I should give you for it. Uh, $20, <laughs> yay. 30 No, no, no. <laughs> okay, then no, it was one person said 30 Like half a dozen more or more people said 20 uh, 22 well, 20 to split the difference. So um, that's all I'd say, 22 <laughs> Okay, so the neck, I feel like I've seen or had one of these necklaces before with the little seed beads and then the green. I don't know if it was exactly like this, but I feel like I've seen one similar to this. So this one's got little, this is like a mermaidy necklace, right? With the like seafoam colored seed beads and then these green drops. I love it. So cute. <laughs> Mary says, stick with us, kid. I will help you pay for college. <laughs> no. Only if Dan sends the money, then he can, he'll pay that much. No jokes, and he's so good at saving money. He's my little hustler, I tell you what. Yes. I mean, he's already, we found a place here that buys Lego used. And so, and then they they sell Legos too. They're like discontinued stuff. And I asked like, well, what if we find stuff at like garage sales and want to bring it in? Because maybe we have it or we don't, we couldn't use it. But she's like, oh yeah, that's how we get a lot of our stuff. She said they have a, a couple that comes up from Houston to sell to them. And they that's what they do. They go around to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores and buy Lego. And then they just take it over there and the, they, they pay them out for it. Like, oh, nice to know, right? Yeah, Rihanna, this is, this is the gold necklace I found in the jar. I wear it all the time now. I feel like it's my good luck, my good luck necklace, right? <laughs> all right, next up we have this twisty bangle that has some little crystal -y rhinestones in it. I don't see a maker's mark. Hey, Bougie Bear, how are you? Hi, everybody. And I'm so, I know I didn't say hi to everybody. So hi, hi, everybody. Uh, oh, good, Rihanna, thank you. More weight should be given to my suggestion. I probably can't. <laughs> Love them anyway. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I spend lots of money on him, okay? <laughs> he gets to eat food. I... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, all right, ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so here we go. Now this is one of those, you know how I'm a sound, like, I don't think I could wear it. I appreciate it though, because that sound would drive me bananas. I need quiet jewelry, I think. <laughs> is that a thing, quiet jewelry? So these are, so they're plastic, but they're very bobbly. There's lots of different shapes and, I don't know, bobbles. I guess that would be a good keyword, right? So there's that. Ta-da! Oh, and I love this. I love the little accent on the, the chain in the back with the little ball there. So that's cute, I like that. Uh, has he sold the Star Wars? No, he has not. I actually have it ever. That was what, because I got rid of a lot of the big stuff. Dan was asking about the Star Wars stuff. I got all the Star Wars, vintage Star Wars toys at a garage sale before we moved. And I've been paring down a lot of the really big stuff that I've been, um, you know, hoarding, yeah, <laughs> sourcing, because I'm leaning towards jewelry. But that stuff is just like I cannot get rid of it. I have to, I have to sell it. I have to do it because I love it, right? So, <laughs> it's a neat stores. What's the name of the bookstore that buys books? Oh, Lil Lydia. Um, we have half price books. Yeah, that one buys books. So. I'm excited about the, the Lego one. Okay, so here we have a memory wire pearl bracelet, which is really cute. And again, I'll have to just see what these go for, for sure. That is a great necklace for a dress up cloth. Yes, yes. Um, okay, so now we pull out some more stuff. We're doing great, we're doing great. Make sure you go check out her shop down below and Keep an eye out for, you know, if you don't have jewelry jars in your area, she's got some. And then I'm going to say the name wrong if I don't look. Hang on. Grammy. Granny Josie. Granny Josie on eBay. Yeah. Okay. So here we've got a stretchy bracelet like so. Then a gold tone chain, which, you know, if I find like a really cool bigger like chunkier pendant you know this is something that i could put with that 
So there's that. That's cool. So hang on to that. Oh, yes. Hit the thumbs up, everybody. I forgot to tell you that. And go subscribe, too. Do that. Here. Let's go do that. I can't subscribe to my own self. <laughs> okay. Then this one is unusual. I'm going to figure it out. So it's got these little bars and knots or twirls. What are they? So there's this one. Really cute. And I don't, I don't see any marks on it either. So, never seen anywhere that sells jewelry bars in Wales. No. Do you get to see the Celtic traders? Do you watch Celtic traders? They're in Wales too, aren't they? Aren't they? Are they in Wales? They're in Wales, aren't they? I think they are. I think they are. I know fake Rachel is. Okay, then, this is actually really, really cool. Okay. This would go with this, right? It's got that really vintage look to it. It looks like almost they want to be like Bakelite balls. This would go with this, wouldn't it? It's kind of pinky color. It looks like it wants to be like cherry, almost like a cherry Bakelite, but it's most likely not. I can smell it, how about that? <laughs> okay, oh, it's the first thing you do, Perla, come in and give a thumbs up, oh, thanks. So I'm rubbing this. So if you don't know what I'm doing, I don't really think this is Bakelite, but if you have a suspicion that something might be Bakelite, then you rub it on like your jeans or something like that. And then you smell it. And if it's Bakelite, it'll smell like um, formaldehyde. Formaldehyde? Is that the one? Yeah, formaldehyde. Okay, so there's that. And I have a whole video I did to, on how things smell. <laughs> Not how just anything smells, but like, plastic stuff or things that look like they could be, you know, amber or fake light or I know amber's not plastic, so. <sighs> I haven't had issues with jewelry stuff. Anyway, I'll leave it. Never mind. Never mind. People picking at me. Whatever. Okay, so next up. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Exactly. So here we've got this little bird, maybe a little swallow, and there is a leather charm. Let's see what we think about this. Little hang tag. I'm guessing it looks like a C and a J maybe. No, it's a G. What do you guys make of that? Oh, wait, there's another little, <laughs> this might help maybe. No, yes, okay, yes. So we have another hang tag with the actual name of it. I can't read it, here we go. It is, hmm, it says guess. Does it say guess? No, that's not guess. I'm going to hold it up. You guys tell me what you think. First of all, it looks like it says guess, but it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> okay, tell me what you think. Ah, it's kind of hard to tell. My finger's in the way, too. That doesn't help. Can you guys see that? Ah, uh, it doesn't want to. Hey, there she is. Caroline, were your ears burning? You're in Wales, right? So there, I can't read it. I can't. Okay. See, so yeah, I guess. But I didn't think that was their cursive. Their, you know, I mean, maybe it is guess. Oh, what happened to my eyes? Is that, okay, go, stop this, okay. Mallard Cove, this is a new one for me. I'm sure somebody in the group knows Mallard Cove. I love it though. I love it, when I see stuff like this, it just automatically makes me think romantic and I don't know, just this really delicate feminine pink and gold. I don't know, it's almost like, do I need to keep this one? I think I need to keep this one, I love it. The sparkly pink beads. Isn't it so pretty? So pretty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what Mallard Cove is. That's going in my keeper pile. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, oh, an older guest mark. Hmm. Okay. This one is funky, but I could see someone loving it. It's really lightweight for what it looks like. I mean, it's super lightweight. So it's got lots of these funky swirls. I can really see someone loving this. Um, and it is, oh boy, <laughs> here's another one. This is another one that we get nine times, not nine times out of 10, but 
a lot of times in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers Group. <coughs> All right, Cindy, I know you're in there. I know you can help me with this one. And I never can remember it either. Ready, set, go. This one gets popped in a lot. And I know you, you were, <laughs> I can never remember. Is it friends? What does it say? Okay, I need to check our album. Why can't I ever remember it? I don't know. This one I can't remember. Um, oh boy. Okay, you and I, okay. See, I was close with friends, right? Like you and I are friends, right? <laughs> so maybe that'll help me remember it. <laughs> How it's you and I, maybe I have it upside down. <laughs> anyway, we see that one frequently because that is a stumper. That's a stumper right there. Stumps them. And me. <laughs> <laughs> you get that one a lot too, Lydia. Yeah. Hey, Murphy Dieski. Yes. Okay. Untangle, untangle. You're really cute. Um, you must untangle. So says I. Come on, man. Okay. We'll untangle in a second. So we have a really cute, like, charm type necklace with these little pendants, and there's crosses. Oh, that's a blue, little blue stone. Okay. It's not black. Oh, they're all blue. Now I really want to get it untangled. Why are you tangling? That is super annoying. Please stop. Okay, I'll figure it out later. Anyway, so it's got all of these little hearts and crosses. Another cross over here, another heart with little blue stones. I can get it to hold still and show you. And there is a hang tag and it says Express. So Express has been around since I was in high school, maybe before, I don't know. It's been probably since I was in high school. So this is one of those that you'd have to figure out, do I think it's vintage from when I was in high school, or do I think it's more contemporary? So usually, especially with something like this, chances are most likely it's more contemporary, I think. Yeah. So I wouldn't put that on Etsy. It would probably just go on eBay. Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is pretty. This is pretty. Ready for it? It's got all of these really colorful beaded necklaces, and it is fixed like so, really fancy. And then it's got this really pretty pendant. Let me get it fixed, hang on. Because I want to show it to you just right. It keeps trying to twist around. So then there is the pendant on it. Isn't that really pretty? I mean, that's, I mean, it's not my style, but I know ladies that wear, you know, more. I don't know how to say blingy, because this isn't exactly blingy, but more showy, cost, you know, jewelry. And I could see someone really enjoying that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Wow. And I don't see a maker's mark on that either. Hmm. That's really, really pretty. Isn't it? Okay. So there's that. <laughs> Thanks, Murphy, the SD. I'm in a group that's like as a YouTuber, like a YouTube help group <laughs> and a YouTube support group. I don't know. And they're like, what is the thing that somebody has given you a, a pointer on in your videos or something like that? And I was like, my hair. <laughs> Dress necklace. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah. 25 or at least. Yeah. For this one, for sure. Cindy. Yeah. Boho pendant, yeah, yeah. Almost gypsy style. See, I could see that, and then I could also see ladies that do like rodeo or Southwest style stuff liking it as well. For sure, yeah. Or even, you know, like I see ladies at the art gallery that are wearing, you know, all black or like a black dress or a black, you know, higher necked shirt wearing something like that with it. Yeah. Okay, then this one has got this really pretty purple, like amethyst purple color cabochon, like so. I am almost positive that it's, I don't know. I need to look at it closer. Hang on. Because I, I thought for sure it was not real stone, but maybe it is because it's got, through the back, you, uh, you don't have the light on your side. I can see like kind of flaws in it, maybe. Let me see what this is. Maybe not. <laughs> Once I see this, like, okay. Yeah, Jolene, I would love to be able to sing Jolene for you. But my, you know, I just can't do Dolly. <laughs> so that's a chaps. 
So that would probably tell me, probably not, unless Chaps did stuff with real amethyst. So Jolene, 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 Jolene. Now I got that in my head. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. I can't sing it. It's, in my, it's not in my key. <laughs> so this one, oh, a nice little sweetheart pin. Two little interlocking hearts. Cute. And then some kind of, oh, what color would you say that is? Hmm, like a, what color would you say that is? Like a burgundy sort of garnet color. Just little, I'm looking at them closer. Yeah, anyway, cute. Cutie, cutie. And some little drop. There was a lot in this one. It's a nice jar. It's a nice jar. Some little pearl drop earrings. Like a plum color. Yeah, yeah. And then here, this has a J. Is that a T? Is that it? Is that it? Would you say that's a T or a J? Maybe it's a T. No. J goes around. I guess it depends on the font. What do you think? Is it a T or a J? Or could I put both? Maybe it's a J. Heart brooch, 25 pounds. You think so? Cool. All right, so there's that. And then the back has got this heart, like so. But that's not Brighton. What is that? Somebody might know. That is not a Brighton thing. And this chain could be, I mean, this chain is um, real light, you know, almost just plasticky, like really not great quality. So you think a T, look, J, could be an L or an I. I, L, T. <laughs> we'll just put lots of them in there <laughs> and let the buyer decide, right? And then a couple more things. We have this one, it's like a ribbon, like so, and there's a hang tag, and then this, very goth looking, I like it, I like it. And then on the hang tag, we have, who are you? Where do you come from? Ooh, it's a mystery. It is, oh, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Oh, brother. Somebody's not sleeping. <laughs> My son's looking at me. What? What? <laughs> it is 1928. So this one, they have been around for a little while, um, but they make vintage looking stuff for sure. Um, so yeah, this is a 1928. There are people that that really look for this jewelry and they make really pretty stuff. So, so I could see this, I'll have to look up what I think it would go for, but really pretty, pretty, pretty. pretty. I need to find a new adjective. <laughs> then, okay, we've got these pink earrings and they are very sparkly. It's kind of like that foil look underneath, right? With the gold. These are very, also very blingy, yeah. Did I miss any honky tonk jewelry over there? No, you didn't miss any honky tonk because this was a good jar sent to me by Grammy Josie. I keep calling her Grammy. I'm sorry, it's Grammy Josie. Yeah, so check out her eBay store down below. And then we've got these little clip on leaves with a little stone in them. Hang on, I'm gonna look at the maker on this. Because I can see a maker. Hello, Sherilyn Dale. Hello. Oh, these are Avon. Okay. So, I come across Avon stuff. Now, Avon perfume bottles, you know, pretty much avoid like the plague. I'm sure there's a few that are collectible. But I've sold Avon jewelry, so there is a, a market for it there. A lot of times people are buying for a look more than like, I need this Avon jewelry, I must have it. It's more like, I really want some cute leaf earrings for fall, right? But I don't want anything big and weird and like leafy. You know, not like a fairy or a dryad or something. <laughs> I would just want something understated, some little leaves, right? So <laughs> anyway, so yeah, a lot of people, I haven't seen Penelope in a while either. And if you don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> well, someday, someday Penelope will be back. 
<laughs> okay, so there's that. I, honest to goodness, I think some of my, some of you, and not, not you, but some people who watch think I'm totally nuts. I got, I got a comment the other day, and I tell you, I, I just delete them or hide them, but somebody made some comment about how manic I am or something like that, or there was another one that had to do with like, you might need to see the doctor for your multiple personalities or something like that. And I'm just like, really? It's a made up thing. I know I'm doing it. It would be one thing if I didn't know. <laughs> it would be one thing if I like suddenly just snapped and like I was speaking at <laughs> another person, but oh, that was some, was that outside? Oh, that was weird. Okay. Okay. So uh, again, this was an awesome jar sent to me by uh, Granny Josie and her eBay store is down below. So this is just another, oh, that's right, Debbie. <laughs> this is just another way that you can get jewelry jars if you don't have them in your area. So they're, you know, different places that you can find them or you can look on eBay as, as another option for sure. <laughs> yeah, so Debbie is reminding me that, that Penelope may have gone on a secret mission. Yes, Penelope von Schnitzelbitzel. <laughs> With a C. I'm sorry, you forgot the C. <laughs> Penelope von Schnitzelbitzel. With a C, okay? It's with a C. She doesn't want to be uh, mixed up with the other Penelope von Schnitzelbitzels out there. <laughs> with a C. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll leave it there. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so I appreciate you all coming to watch. Definitely thank you so much, Granny Josie, for sending me the jar to open review. It was great. Uh, check out her shop and see the jars that she's got on offer. And yeah, we'll definitely keep, you know, and then we'll have more chats about this in the group about different ways. And maybe, I don't we don't sell in the group. That's the thing. So. I don't know, I've got to figure it out. Because I think there, there, I don't know, I'll have to talk to the other admins. Because there are people that have a plethora of jewelry that could help others that like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know the answers. I get these ideas and then I say them out loud. And then I go to the admins and I'm like, what do you guys think? And then it's like, maybe not. <laughs> it might be, you may, didn't think it through all the way or so. Anyway, I need that. I need that. No, 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 no bonus hairs. That was that was the bonus of this. No bonus hairs. Um, instead of Secret Santa, how about Secret Penelope event? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Because I was going to do Christmas in July, but then I was like, man, I'm in the middle of this move. And so I was asking the, them, like, it, it's time consuming. Because we did Secret Santa when the group was small, you know, when it was a paid group. There was, I don't know, 20, 30 people participated. But that was when the group had like 20 or 200 and something people in it, maybe. And then now the group's like 1,200 or something. So if I did a Secret Santa or a Christmas in July, that's a lot to manage, even if everybody doesn't participate. And so my idea was like maybe an entrance fee. But then that was like, mm, the others thought maybe not. I don't know. Because that would keep people down from like, saying they want to do it and then just to get something for free and then they don't send anything out. But then some people would be mad that you're charging an entrance fee to do it, but there's a lot to manage. I don't know. Anyway, so that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> but if we do secret Santa in December, we're going to have to figure it out. Cause it really is time consuming to like figure it all out. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Anyway, whatever. We'll talk about it later, and I'll tell you why it's so time-consuming. Maybe not now is not the time. Okay, I'll just keep talking. I gotta go get ready to talk to Carlos though. So anyway, hope you guys go over and join Texas Gals Joy Lovers so that you can join in on the fun and know who Carlos is. So when I talk about him, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great evening. Bye, everybody.